himself is the beginning to the end, the beginning of the rabbit hole to evil, the unending road that leads to destruction. It's like spiritual liposuction because Satan will use you to destroy you, to squeeze the life out of you by believing that which is false about you. The destroyer's goal is to destroy, but his tactic is deceit. And he wins time and time again when we believe lies like Adam and Eve, the falsehood disguised in the words take and eat. And even thousands of years later, us women and men still cheat on God because even after the death on a cross, we are still like Eve, searching for a cure to this disease because sin takes over like cancer. And in a world full of darkness that places our defeats, failures, and troubles before our eyes on display and our sin placed back in our minds on replay, how could we ever even recognize truth when we're searching in the wrong place? See, Satan is the father of all lies and he's crafty in his ways. He only tells a lie when it sounds like the truth. He only tells a lie if it's at least half the truth. He'll even tell you a lie using your own voice, manipulate your psyche, leaving you with no choice but to believe everything that the world tells us we are. So we put on a mask and lose who we are, trying to be who we are not. Comparison chokes us at the glance of our screens and the pixels cut deeper than a knife ever could. And we are left thinking that we are no good and unworthy of love. So he sends confusion to play tricks on our minds, to hijack our thoughts and terrorize our souls until our faith flies at half mass. We allow our past to define us. We let the mistakes of our past hold us, isolated in Babylon and like chains around our feet. We can never move out of Egypt without the acceptance of man. And God is crying out, let my people go. Because we've become gripped by a fear of failure, a fear of rejection, a fear of what people think until we begin to sink in our insecurities, living by these standards that are inhuman, as if we were created by man and for man. And this is how Satan tries to steal the glory. We are believing an illusion, a deceptive appearance, a false idea, an ungodly belief. Our vision has been tainted. There's an error in our focus, and we have lost who we are. We have lost whose we are. 